Heidi Fang for MMA Fight Corner here with legendary Dan Henderson. Upcoming fight, finally in 2013, booked yep. to Leoto. How much are you looking forward to that fight? Uh, I'm looking forward to getting back in there for sure. I mean, it's been a while. You know, uh, I don't know how many months now, 14 months or so. So Since 139, right? Yeah, so I'm, I'm definitely uh, excited to, to be back in there and, and excited to be able to, to really push myself against somebody like Leota. You're nominated for Fight of the Year on this uh, nom nomination card here for the World MMA Awards. How excited are you for that? Uh, you know, I don't know. I, I mean, I, it's, it's, it's a great honor, I guess, and, and it's something that, uh, you know, I guess makes makes all the work a little bit uh, nicer to, to, to push yourself through. But, you know, I, it's, I'm just here to, to enjoy the, the night. Actually, was that fight on your list of fights? Was that like one of the most difficult or biggest wars that you've ever been through? Uh, no, I wouldn't say the most difficult, no. I've, I had a, I've had a couple of tougher evenings fighting, you know, but it, it was definitely uh, a tough one for sure. It was, you know. It, it, it was a long fight, but for me, it wasn't as exciting as it was to probably a lot of the fans, because as I knew exactly what was going on in my head, right. and I felt fine the whole time. So, and it probably didn't look that way. How about the knee injury in your MCL? How's that? Is it fully recovered? Are you having uh, any issues? It's, it's recovering fine. It, it's I'm not really having too many issues at all. Just being real careful with it, and still, you know, certain situations being careful. But uh, you know, I'm, I'm slowly gaining more confidence to. Uh, do more things so it'll be fine uh you know it's 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 almost 100 percent now so now Charles here tonight i know when he got his title shot against john jones you kind of felt probably skipped over and you had actually tweeted something about maybe i should go to trash talking school <laughs> have you spoken with Chael tonight and how is that relationship going since then uh, i haven't spoken to him tonight but i've i've talked to him a few times since you know we're fine we're we i've known Chael since both of us started before we started fighting so you know he's, uh, you know he 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 knows what it is, and and you know I I I hope him that he does well, and I really hope that he wins. What are your thoughts on a prospect like Alexander Gustafsson coming up into the division, and Dana saying maybe that with, I guess he might get a title shot next. How do you feel about that, and do you think you can change Dana's mind with your performance over Machida? Uh, you know, I. I'm not worried about a title shot anymore. I got to fight Leota Machida next and, and beat him and beat him, you know, the way I want to beat him. And, and uh, the rest might take care of itself. If it doesn't, I'll beat the next toughest guy out there. So, Well, we wish you all the best in 2013, Dan. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, you know, it's nice to, to get recognized for, you know, something that you put a lot of work into over the years building, you know, the, the Clinch gear has been a part of my life for a long time, and, and uh, you know I love the shorts, and, and you know we've got a whole lot of different uh, products now, shirts and everything. So it's it's nice to finally get recognized for that. So it's it's a good honor. Still a fight of the year to come. How anticip much anticipation do you have with that coming up? Still? Uh, you know it doesn't matter. You know I'm not I'm not. I think it was a while ago, and a lot of people probably forgot about it. So. Yeah, I know that uh, I'm just focused on my next fight and, and uh, enjoying the evening, so. Oh. Thank you.